So, I got these from Sears. Yes, I went back the next day. So, I got this Patricia Nash Queen purse for $3.49. And I'll tell you all at the end that I got this all actually for less. So, these two sets of earrings that are clip on. They were $15.99. And I am going to show you something here. I'm going to put them back in. So this is Native American. This is absolutely gorgeous. And I don't think they're signed in any way. But they're clip-on, so they are wearable for me. <laughs> so this is actually the most common Native American piece you would run across even with rings. And they're usually not that expensive. So as you see, I'm just pulling this one earring out at a time because, uh, yeah, <laughs> not signed, but still, so wearable, you know. I absolutely like these a lot. So, um, yeah, so, um, and while I was at Savers, um, someone had their kid walking around, with, and, well, they were look, sitting there. Digging around at the purses. And I was like, being careful because, like I said, when you're in the thrift store, you don't want to walk into someone's kid, you know. So, I just try to be very careful. But yeah. So, this was on the shelf with the thing on it pinched on there like this. So, this did not look like what it did. So, like I said, you wouldn't have been able to see that in Boston. That would mean what this is. So, look at what it is. It's a Patricia Nash. Oh. Feels really nice in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or if I'm going to resell it on eBay. Because I would tell you I probably could get more money out of it if I sell with that or Patricia Nash if I decide to get rid of both of them. Yeah. So, like, Coach just has a thing on it like that. So you can hook to your bag, and then you can put your keys right there. And this could dangle right from your bag. So, I got these both for, like, $16 and some odd cents. With a 20% off discount. Um, so, I am going to say this. I did see today a Dooney and Burke orange wallet there. I had thought about it, but then it's like I just picked up that one in brand new condition with tags from the state sale recently. And right now I'm hemming and hawing because it's like I'm not sure if I want one of them. Coach Times Disney Studio Bags. 
So, yeah. And I guess the bank has just finished their investigation and they said that, yes, they, that I was right that my um, debit card got hacked. So, yeah. So, they're not going to take any money from me. So, that's a relief. <laughs> so, I am going to make a, a bit of a decision by this Friday. Because, like I said, um, I also... Gosh, you know... And that's why I like reselling, because, and it seems like people do like these Patricia Nashes. I don't find them that often, but usually when I find them, people don't realize what they are. And this is kind of a funny thing. So, I mean, the last couple I've bought, they looked like a normal everyday bag, to be honest. I have not seen a vintage roller coach at Goodwill lately. Um, yeah. So, and, and like I said, I don't want to get to the point where I have a ton of bags and, yeah. I do have a collection of vintage Dooney and Burks, just so y'all know, besides vintage coach. Um, I do have some newer coaches too. Um I think currently right now I'm using my nine West bag, but once that wears out I do have a spare bag in mind to replace it with. So like I said, it, it's just how that is. Uh, yeah. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. And don't forget to like, comment, and share channel. As it would help get my channel to the people that don't know about it yet. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.